Hi, I am Mrs. Smith, and today we are using our superpowers for good. As we multiply and divide decimals by powers of 10. Multiplying by a power of 10 moves the decimal point to the right. Dividing by a power of 10 moves the decimal point to the left. How far it moves depends on which power of 10 you're multiplying or dividing by. If you're multiplying by 10, you'll move it one place. If you're multiplying by 100, you'll move it two places. If you're multiplying by 1,000, you'll move it three places. In this case, we're multiplying, I see that, that tells me I'm gonna move my decimal point to the right, and we're multiplying by 10. That means I'm gonna move it one place to the right, which would put it right there. That's actually my answer. One and 23 hundredths times 10. Well, that equals 12 and 3 tenths. All I had to do was move my decimal point one place to the right to make it 10 times greater. And the same thing with division, you're just moving it the other way. Let's see what comes up next. So I see we're multiplying, so I'm gonna move my decimal point to the right. Multiplying by 100, I'm gonna move it two places to the right. So there's one, would be on the other side of the two. Two, my answer is 123. 1.23 times 100 is 123. All I had to do was move my decimal point to the right two places because I was multiplying by 100. When working with powers of 10, we want to look at two things. Are we multiplying or dividing? That'll tell us whether the decimal point goes left or right or whether our answer is going to get larger or smaller. And what's the power of 10 number that we're multiplying or dividing by? Let's see what comes up next. All right, 12.3 times 100. So we're multiplying and moving it to the right times 100. Moving it to the right two places again. So there's one place on the other side of the three. I need to move it one more place, which means I have to fill in that empty space with a zero. It's 1,230. Now let's try some dividing. So dividing by powers of 10 means the decimal point's gonna move to the left. If we're dividing by 10, we'll move our decimal point one place to the left. If we're dividing by 100, we'll move it two places to the left. If we're dividing by 1,000, we'll move it three places to the left. For this problem, I see we're dividing by 10. So I'm going to move my decimal point one place to the left. So it would be just in front of the three. That means 3.1 divided by 10 is 0.31 or 31 hundredths. Next we have 31 divided by 100, but aha, don't forget 31 has a decimal point, it's just invisible, it goes after the whole number. We're gonna have to move that decimal point to the left two places because we're dividing by 100. So there's one and there's two. That would move it right in front of the three. 31 divided by 100 is 0.31 or 31 hundredths. Let's try 3.1 divided by 100. So dividing by 100 means my answer would be 100 times smaller because I'm dividing. So I'm going to move the decimal point two places to the left. and then I need to fill in that empty space with a zero. You got it. 3.1 divided by 100 is 0 0.031 or 31,000. Let's review and then you can try some on your own. So when you're multiplying, the decimal point's gonna go to the right. When 
you're dividing, it's going to go to the left. How many places? Depends on how many zeros are on the number. Got it? Let's give it a try. Write this one down and see what you can do. 15 and 2 tenths times 10. You should have noticed you were multiplying and multiplying by 10. You needed to move your decimal point one place to the right. That would take it from in front of the 2 to behind the 2. 152. And then, of course, you can drop that decimal point off. Next up, write this one down. 1.5 times 100. Did your thought process go something like this? I'm multiplying by 100, so I need to move my decimal point two places to the right. So there's one, two. Then fill in that empty space with a zero. It's 150. I bet a lot of you have already figured out that when it comes to dividing and multiplying by powers of 10, you can just do it mentally. You may not need to write anything down. You can probably just do it all in your head. Let's try to do this next problem mentally just in our heads. It's 6.2 divided by 100. See if you can just work it in your head. Were you thinking this? Moving your decimal point one, two places to the left, and then filling in that empty space with the zero. Point oh six two. I hope you got that one. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I have lots of other helpful math videos. See you next time. Bye bye.